funeral is currently underway in Pretoria. Gauteng Premier David Makura is currently speaking. Let's cross the now live. I think we must bring arts back into as much as we emphasize science, technology, mathematics, and engineering, we must add arts in our curriculum. So, with the same energy and determination that everybody today says, every child, for every child to make it in life, they need those subjects. I want to add that we must add the arts in there. The second thing we must honor Busiso around is I have just been whispering into his ear in two weeks the artist if you can listen to me I've just agreed with Ntate here that in two weeks I am going to meet with you within two weeks with the with the artists, I so the, the outcry that the artists, I want to deal with the arts in Gauteng. I can't deal with the arts nationally. I want to deal with the arts in Gauteng. I can't complain because I have the responsibility I've been given by you. I must do something about it. When the artists say we are not taken care of, I can do something about it. Within two weeks, so I've said within two weeks, Ntatejeri will convene all of you. But I, I needed to let all of you know, because you may, within two weeks we will have a, our meeting, a conversation with the artist in honor of Sbusiso, Quinana. <laughs> and in that conversation, I have started a conversation with a number of young artists. I started it on the 17th of February. I followed it up last week. I had a conversation with Black Coffee, with Nelson Magam, uh, with Ladu Mangokolo. You know, Nelson Magam is a visual artist, one of the greatest young people to have achieved appearing on the Times magazine, the first African in our to appear on the Times magazine. He is, he is our local production here. Uh, Laduma is the fashion designer award winning. But there are many of you here I have seen. The old and the young. You have aspirations. You have dreams. I want to have a conversation with you in honor of Sbu about how can we build an ecosystem in Gauteng province for the arts to thrive. For the artists, the creative industries to contribute to our economy, not in a small way, to create employment. How do we, this conversation is also about how do we turn our townships into thriving centers of cultural excellence. For the creative industries, we have to do this in honor of Sbusi. So he made something coming out of Soshanguve. He made something out of his life. He's the light that has shown to the world to give us a beautiful story of how life in the townships is lived. Roma to it. That's my first, my first, my first tribute to Sbusi so that we will come together, have a conversation with the artists. To map the way forward and one of the things is that we are building to we are building many academic institutions in our country but we are not creating proper culture arts and culture academies so everybody will they, yes there will be a course there at that university at tut a course there a course there but the countries that has really really thrived dg They've created university, specialized universities and specialized schools in the arts. We have a few, but they are, not, they are not enough. The second thing I want to say as a tribute to Sbusi, so we must give opportunities to young people in our townships. If you want to know the story of Gauteng, that life is in the townships. We must invest, we must turn around township economies, 
Madam Speaker, we must put proper infrastructure. We need the galleries in the townships, the art galleries in the townships. We need the music schools in the townships to get these young people out of all attractive, destructive attractions. We, we also have to do much more. We must give opportunities for young people. Every young person has got a dream. Even if you were born from an informal settlement, you, or you are born from a village where there's no water, you have a dream. Sbusiso, in tribute to Sbusiso, we have to invest in our youth. The last thing I want to say, we must win the war against crime. Crime has the potential to destroy everything we hold dear. And I agree with Kahiso. Uh, Kahiso was saying that one of the major contributors to the level of crime we have is, is deprivation, inequality, unemployment. I agree with you, uh, Kahiso. That's why we must do all the other things to attract young people away from negative things, give them opportunities, give them the best education, including in the arts. But I think we need to be a bit tougher in dealing with criminals than we are at the moment. This is the message. Uh, to the minister, I can tell you when I visited the family uh, I said to you the three suspects have been identified I, I said that to them and I said to them the police are hot on their heels the minister will tell a story about what has happened so far it's not my job he will tell a story. Minister, we must send a message that for every crime committed, we shall find you, you criminals. We must tell that message loud and clear. That they should, there will be no one allowed to terrorize our communities, to conduct a reign of terror. Not in Mamelodi, not in Soshanguve, not in the suburbs, not in the townships. Kalavune, we were here in Soshanguve conducting, conducting anti-crime operations. I know some of you, Lineli, Yako Misebetzing, you got to work late because the police were everywhere here. Kiko Patswarelo. When we delay you to get to work, I ask for forgiveness, but we will delay you if the criminals are to be removed from our communities. We will conduct with the police. We do that every Thursday. I do that with the provincial commissioner minister. Every Thursday, we don't announce where we are going. Every Thursday from five o'clock, you wake up in an area, we are conducting raids. We, on Thursday, the day I visited the family, 95 wanted suspects were arrested. 95 wanted suspects. We recovered stolen vehicles. We recovered guns that are used to commit murder. We did that on Thursday. We are going to do that in Gauteng everywhere. Every Thursday I'll join the police. Every Thursday. But they, the police have to be visible everywhere. There should be no mercy for criminals. The minister is going to give a report about the killers of Svusiso Quinana. And they can't, they can't find peace. And minister, I look forward to hearing what has happened. I want to conclude by saying President Cyril Ramaphosa has asked me to convey to the, to the family Kifitiche Molaecha wa Matsidiso Hulelapa, who president were to Ute Naye Akawazanga Ukufika Ekaya Mama. Usem Sebenzin on cool. But Uzo Bekona, Utekim, Uzo Bekona, Esoshanguve later, Uzo Kwaz, even if the funeral is done, he will try and make sure that he is able to comfort the family. So our president has really said he too is saddened by the passing of this great, talented young man from Soshanguve. And as we lay Sbusiso to rest today, we must know that there are people who, who can die. 
and there are those you can't kill. We must say to the criminals, the spirit of Vusi Sokwinana is too great to can kill. That spirit, the criminal who committed this murder must know that Vusi's spirit is too brilliant to can kill. That spirit lives amongst many creatives who are in here. It lives amongst the youth in the townships who saw him as his role model. That spirit lives amongst his friends who are tell, telling the story here of what, how they have lived with him. That spirit lives in his family. It lives amongst his siblings. May I add, that spirit is also going to spare us in government together with the city of Swan, together with national government. That spirit will spare us to fight crime until our province and our country is safe. And that spirit of Zbu will spare us to place the arts in the front line of conquering, conquering poverty, conquering unemployment, transforming our economy, and getting our nation to have the self-pride without which we cannot never be a nation. And it is in that way that the Sbu has not died. Sbu has multiplied amongst many creatives and amongst many young people. Long live the spirit of Sbu Quinana. Long live. Amen. Long live the spirit of Sbu Quinana. Long live. Amen. <laughs> Okay, it seems we lost some sound there. That was uh, the Gauteng Premier David Makura basically saying we must win this war against crime and uh, talking about what a valuable asset Sbu uh, Quinana was. Uh, we're expecting the uh, police minister, Becky Trele, to address uh, the crowds gathered for the funeral shortly. Just to remind you that the uh, Matuetwe film actor was... Uh, well, he was attending, this is the report that we're getting, he was attending a screening of a movie in Arcadia uh, when he was attacked by a suspect uh, or suspects uh, demanding his cell phone. He was allegedly stabbed with a sharp object uh, on the upper body and died at the scene. And his family obviously devastated. And uh, speaking to SABC News, uh, Sibusiso's sister, Jay, says uh, the police called them on Friday night at about 11.30 p.m. and told them that uh, to come to the Hatfield Police Station, that something was happening so it's devastating for the family as well as his colleagues as well. We're going to bring you more from the funeral service of Sbu, Sbu uh, Quinana in a short while so stay tuned for that. In other news